It's a labor traffic jam the likes the auto sector has never seen. Simultaneous strikes happening at General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler's parent company Stellantis for the first time ever. This strategy will keep the companies guessing. It will give our national negotiators maximum leverage and flexibility in bargaining. For now, three assembly plants in the United States are behind picket lines. With the United Auto Workers and the automakers back at the negotiating table, the union demanding a bigger share of record profits, shorter work weeks, and stronger job security in the wake of shifts to electric vehicles. We've gone years without a raise. You know, we want our fair share. And this may just be the start of the pileup. Here in Canada, Auto Union, Unifor, and Ford are negotiating. The union so far rejecting two offers from the company with a midnight Eastern strike deadline approaching on Monday. We are also experiencing a once in a century transition of the sector. In this context, auto workers across Canada are seeking a fair contract and we've started with Ford Motor Company. The impact of ongoing American job action has been minimal in Canada so far, but any extended strike will put a dent in an industry that currently sees more than $35 billion of goods shipped over the border every year. Canada is going to escape without too much damage unless the United Auto Workers decides to expand the scope of their strike and then all bets are off. It's a potential impact to the supply of parts, which could end up driving up costs. Richard Zussman, Global News.